Do you know who I fucking hate more than anybody else? Is people who use the death of loved ones. Cynically. So, Nick Monroe, I know you all love him. And By the way, I was going to bring him up too, and I'm going to read your quote here in a minute. He's been on the internet to tell his imaginary six friends that his grandmother died. Like, yeah, maybe oh. she died of fucking shame seeing you plead for your Twitter account. It's fucking disgusting. Um, you know, don't... This is, a, this is a mark of somebody who does not treat the death of a loved one with the seriousness and uh, and and realness that of what actually happened, but is instead by motivated by attention and wanting to go on the internet and tell people what. Uh. So, oh, people need to know what happened. Do they? Do they? I don't think everyone's hanging on. Oh, it's so cynical and it's so disgusting and it's so awful. Now, let me break. Let, wait. Now, hold on. We have to, you know. We have to go into it fully now. So Nick Monroe was scheduled to come on the show last night, actually. Uh, and it was because of his, you know, he's outing some Twitter executives or whatever, workers as being... Well, leftist. except he fucked it up. Well, we'll get to that. I mean, If you gave Nick Monroe the choice between reviving his dead grandmother and getting his Twitter account back, he would pick Twitter. Now, last night, his grandmother had a heart attack about three hours before he was supposed to come on the show, so he canceled his appearance. Uh, now it's public knowledge. He told me... You know, later during the show, I didn't announce it, but it's public now. His grandmother actually passed away uh, last night. Um, so, yeah, and, and is he is he in quiet contemplation with his family? No, he's on Telegram, spewing it all out for attention and sympathy. This is not real behavior. This is the behavior of somebody who is trapped in the prison of internet affirmation, of dopamine hits, of um needing that needing that reassurance and that and that whatever and it's fake it's fake 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 and that's why i feel able to make jokes about it and be a cunt about it because it's fake it's not real he's not dealing with his emotions he's running to that crutch now what's the beef with monroe actually though Big, it's not a beef well i mean obviously I'm there's drunk. something going I'm on drunk. right i mean i'm just deeply disappointed to see people with no squander it because wait, 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 hold on. Repeat that because you broke up a little bit. Repeat that part. It makes me very sad when I see people with massive potential. Because he has potential to be a really gifted uh, storyteller, a reporter. Squander that potential through a mixture of pride and addiction. You know, he doesn't realize how much help he needs. I mean, that Twitter thing he did was just like an, this 5,000 word outpouring of autism. He had a good story buried in there, but he didn't know how to present it. And he didn't know how to drop it. And so it sank like a stone. Well, there's certain things. And by the way, I'm not commenting on this specifically, but uh, sometimes you have to leave certain things out in, in order to. Oh, yeah, shut up. I've been, you know, I've, I've been a professional journalist for a decade. I know exactly what goes down when you have to leave stuff out. I have done exposés of the, some of the worst people on the internet. Ra you know, Randy Harper, all the rest we of We were involved with that. Yes, you don't have to tell me. I know oh, all no, about it. I was the person publishing the stories. I know perfectly well that you have to leave some of the best stuff out sometimes. But he just doesn't know how to tell a story, which is... 60 to 70 percent of his job yes, is, um, part, yeah. um and 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 you know i try to help him and he just you know he said first of all yes and it starts rejecting the help and uh um excuse me it's a mixture of pride and addiction because mm. he's he, the reason that he will just will not give up the twitter thing is like you know like, twitter that losing twitter kind of broke laura uh luma she's a very good friend of mine but it, she's kind of like not really a whole person anymore um because of it it didn't me none of it really did this to me because i have a no you family. didn't like losing twitter let's be honest right what? i mean no, I you mean, didn't enormous fuss about it strategically yeah. i i what i did was i leapt on it and used it as an opportunity for press and i took right. well you might as well take advantage of it they just cut your reach down you might as well use it to, as a springboard to and you did with facebook you had like two or three million people on facebook and they cut million. you down. Yeah. You know, yeah, three million on Facebook. Uh, and the only lo the only network I have left, which I will lose in the purge on 10th of December for sure, is is YouTube, which is like 850,000. And I don't even use it. Anyway, it's not about me. But um, but some of these things like just break people. Uh, Gavin and I have kind of survived. Alex is fine because his business makes plenty of money. Roger, it's really hit hard. Laura's just not, not a whole person anymore after this. But she's, she's not, running for Congress. She's not right in the fucking head after this. Now, wait know? a minute. Milo, she's running for Congress. I thought she was your friend. She is my friend. I adore her. I but love how her could form. you endorse a person who's not right in the head for Congress? 
Although there's already plenty of those there. But yeah, I, was just, I was just saying, I mean, like, uh, uh, I, would, I would take Laura over. I would estimate conservatively 80% of the people in Congress. Um, <laughs> but I want fair to see point, her fair point, I want fair to see her made whole again. I want to see the lawsuit win, or I want to see her in Congress and them not able to say no to her anymore. Like, I want this to happen because it's good because she, she's kind of broken over this. And I, I, I'm not being... Uh, I'm not being disloyal or 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 horrible. She's to just her. Well, she's <laughs> fucked up in the head, but it's an enormous still. effect on her life that it's had, right? It doesn't have the same effect on me for, for a variety of reasons. Um, but but the point is, <clears throat> some people just just can never get over it, and I can understand when a woman just doesn't get over it. But Nick Monroe not getting over it is fucking pathetic. It is weak, weak. But it's like. Okay, they've thrown you out of this party, so are you going to go up the road and throw a better party everyone wants to come to? Or are you going to sit at the door whining and begging to be let back in when you know you never, ever will be? They it's will never party. let him back in. Look, I, I will agree with you on that. By the way, I don't... Yeah, you know, Look, I'm, I'm friends with Nick. Some of the stuff about his grandma and stuff, I'll have to leave that. But... Um, I will say they will never let Nick Monroe openly be on I Twitter again. He's a good man the fuck up, but he's never paid a bill in his life. He lives with his parents. He's never paid a bill in his life. He's not a man. He's still a child. And I tried. I tried. But as you can tell, I'm in a kind of burn the house down stage of my career right now. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> now, speaking, you, you spoke of other platforms. Now, I before we go. Anybody, I don't have anybody. And nobody did shit for me. I built all these people up for years. I supported everybody. I, I promoted everybody. I got people jobs. Everyone you've ever heard of from the Gamergate era, you've heard of because of me. Now, I got Dave Rubin, all his first battery of guests. I did everything for everyone. Way too much, actually. I should have been looking after me because when the left and the establishment right came for me, everybody melted away. Like the opportunity. Now, why do you think that? Why was that? What was the because, impetus behind because that? Were they just scared or? Because they're selfish, scared cowards. And I've now come. Um, oh wait, hold on. Hold on. To be a people who are beneath contempt, which is most of them. Anyway, not about me. I don't want to talk about that anymore. 